Hello everyone. As we begin a new academic year, I'm proud and inspired by how you and our university have risen to the challenges of the last year with flexibility, resilience, courage, collegiality and caring. Thank you all for your many and varied contributions, whether student facing, behind the scenes, on or off campus. As you'll hear from our colleagues shortly, we're continuing to deliver real and meaningful impact with much more possible and to come. So let's keep working and improving together. Our students, graduates and communities need us. And thanks to you, this year is already off to a positive as well as a very busy start. Our London campus has welcomed its first cohorts of the year. Our PGCE students start this week across our Lancaster, Carlisle, London campuses and our partner schools. Student recruitment is buoyant in many areas. We've delivered significant growth across our apprenticeship portfolio, bringing in new colleagues whom we look forward to welcoming in person. We've continued to improve many student outcomes and reputation indicators albeit there is more to do in some areas to improve student satisfaction. And having met our financial targets for 2021, we are set for growth this year and beyond, which will enable us to invest across our university and campuses. This provides us with a very strong position for our operating plan to launch our 2030 strategy and to continue to navigate and well through the pressures of dealing with COVID. You'll hear more about our 2030 strategy in the autumn. Meanwhile, over to our colleagues. In spite of the pandemic, we've, we've kept our workforce supply pipeline on track. The support that we've provided for our local communities and in particular the rapid development of a vaccination training package that we've put in place this year and which has helped to prepare lots of new vaccinators. And third is the delivery, the preparation that's gone into providing a nationwide paramedic practice degree apprenticeship programme, which has been a huge success for us. I'm really proud of what the HR team have achieved during the last year. We managed to recruit and induct 179 new starters and it was all done remotely. So I'm sure everybody would agree that our students have coped extremely well with what is a very challenging year. But we've also worked together to deliver some amazing new learning technologies across a range of platforms to provide a really positive learning experience for our students. Our main achievements have been a complete reimagining and redesigning of how we deliver and present our services. So some good examples of this are the welcome and induction program that we put together, the academic skills framework, and also the implementation of the new case management system. We've distributed over £350,000 of additional hardship funds within 10 weeks to help students facing financial difficulty. And we've also introduced the Student Wellbeing Buddies, who made 862 calls to students between November and February, providing a proactive peer support approach to supporting students in wellbeing and engagement. The headlines in SAS are that admissions dealt with over 14,000 applications, the placement unit administered 8,500 placements. The PAD dealt with over 50,000 interactions with students and staff, timetabling processed in excess of 18,000 activities, and the assessments managed 60 new ABS with 1,600 extenuating circumstances. And data manage management submitted the HESA return containing 700,000 data items. And this was all underpinned by the SITS team. We embedded Blackboard Collaborate across the academic portfolio and app 10 for the apprenticeships. Collaborative provision continues to grow with a thousand students recruited onto Robert Kennedy College programmes over this year. We have also established an apprenticeship team which is managing a fourfold increase in apprenticeship numbers from the previous year. Including the formation of the combined research and knowledge exchange service, delivery of a number of key programmes including the research excellence framework where we submitted over twice as many staff as 2014, the university's first submission to the knowledge exchange framework, support for generating over a million pounds worth of income, and support for research integrity, mentoring, professorial titles. 
We've improved the PhD supervision model, introduced supervisor forums, and we validated new professional doctorates. Although our QTS students faced disruption to their placement, the vast majority benefited from school experiences. Our Ed Studies programme in London achieved 100% satisfaction in the NSS survey for the second year running, and the online PGCE without QTS registered around 250 students from across the globe. Visits to website grew by 27%. We engaged with more than 9,000 inquirers. On our applicant events attracted 100% more people year on year. is supporting the implementation of the university's new strategy towards 2030. Making sure that the culture and values of the university support the achievement of our ambitions, but through our people. We will continue to raise our profile, grow our reach and reputation, enhance our digital presence, ignite excitement and convert more students across our whole offer. Learning more about our diverse audiences so we can connect and evoke a sense of belonging before they arrive. We want to develop a stronger, more student-centred community within our institute. And we want to continue to grow our research as well, both in terms of the capacity and the profile, so that we build on the successes of previous years. I think there's an awful lot of work going into simulation, developing our simulation capacity at the moment. What we want to do is really develop that further so that we can support growth in placement capacity. As we move into the next year, we're going to be delivering um, a uh, research strategy that builds on the successes of the past year and with this a new institute name and vision. In the year ahead we're looking to deliver our directorate vision of live well learn well so that's about providing whole student support both physically and digitally. We're going to ensure that the new case management system is further developed and that our self-service resources on My Cumbria are proactively managed and also, we're going to effectively embed the student engagement coordinator roles to support institutes to positively impact student retention and progression. AQD's top three priorities for the coming year are to support the development of the registry, to develop the UOC LTA strategy, and to respond to opportunities through the government rollout of higher technical qualifications. Our top three priorities for 21-22 include devising a new research and knowledge exchange strategy, delivering a number of programmes funded by the EU, UK Research and Innovation, the Lottery and UK Government, and continually enhancing our student experience for PhD students and recruiting to our current and new doctorate programmes. In partnership with local authorities, third sector organisations and school partners, we're going to develop an ambitious ITE curriculum for all our QTS provision with a focus on challenging disadvantage equipping and enabling student teachers to develop their own vision for making a positive difference to the education and social outcomes of all learners. Wow, you've done so much. We can be proud. Our university is in one of its strongest positions ever in our history. While challenges will likely emerge, it's important to remember that we have each other to turn to, to learn from and inspire not least in this next transitional phase. Finally, whether you've been on campus, working from home, hybrid working, or are new to our university, your hard work, your collegiality, and your response have demonstrated the last 18 months just how fabulous you all are. I hope you feel proud of what you've achieved and the impact that this has had on our students, your colleagues, the university, Whatever your role in our university, you really do make a difference. Thank you. I look forward to the year ahead with optimism, realism and much pride.